All right, everybody, welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to add text to your video and how to center it, how to add strokes, how to change the font, everything you can pretty much want to learn to do with text. I'm going to show you how to do it, and I'm going to do it in like two or three minutes maximum. So let's get right into this. First things first, I've got a guy here. He's vacuuming the forest. Yeah, I don't know what kind of mushrooms he ate, but I'm guessing they weren't the right ones. He's tripping balls and you gotta make a, a text about it. So here we go, how did I do this? Well, let's delete it and start from scratch. Okay, cool. Gone she goes, the first step. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my playhead's at the beginning here, and you wanna go to your toolbar, and here you'll see you've got the selection tool selected by default. Well, down at the bottom, there's a type tool or a text tool. Left click on that, and then now I've got the text option. I'm gonna just click on my monitor here, my program monitor. I'm gonna just start typing in some text. So left click here and I'm gonna write tripping ball. All right, tripping balls. All right, good stuff. It doesn't look right yet, but don't worry. We'll get there. The next step here is I'm gonna get clicked off of the text tool. So this might be all you need to do, by the way, if you just want a very simple text. But let's keep going and learn a few more things while we're here. So I'm going to left click on the selection tool. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this here. This is the text. And I'm going to make it the entire duration of the video. So as I slip through it, it is there and it's there for the whole video. Okay, good. Now let's keep on going. We're going to go now up to the effect controls panel up here on the top left. It may not be there for you, but it should be if you've got the default um, setting and then you're gonna see here under text the text that we just added in I'm gonna left click on this chevron or this uh, little triangle and you're gonna see a few things here the first one good chance that you're starting off with myriad pro that is the default font for um, Premiere Pro for most people I'm gonna switch it to Arial, and then you're gonna see here that I'm gonna go from regular which is the which is the standard to Bold. So we've gone ahead and we've changed the font and this is how you do it. The next step here is you're going to see that this is the font size. I want this to be very, very big. So I'm just going to drag it out to the right and I'm going to go with something like, what do you think, 302? It doesn't matter. I'm just showing you the technique. Okay, good. But it's not in the center anymore. It went off to the right. So I'm going to go back to my little selection tool and I'm going to move it and I'm going to sort of eyeball it. I'm just going to eyeball it somewhere around here for now. I'll show you how to dial it in perfectly in a second. The next thing here is we can go down here and there are a whole bunch of things you can change like the center, the alignment or the left align. I'm going to leave it at left align, but just do note that most of those tools are pretty good and you can use them kind of like if you were in Photoshop, but that's a little bit outside the scope of this video. The next one that is very important though is the fill color. I've selected white and white is the default, but if you wanted this to be some sort of weird, let's go with a purple color, you just have to left click on that little rectangle, the white rectangle, it's now purple, and presto, it's now some sort of purple. Same thing for stroke, stroke is by default, it's off. If you want it on, just make sure the check marks by the box and set the stroke color. I'm gonna set it to white now because it'll be a little different. And boom, we've got white outside purple. This is all you need to do to have perfect text. The last thing that you really want to be able to do, and most people don't know this, but it is a cool technique, is I want to make sure that this is centered exactly. So here it is. I'm going to got it off center. And if you move it around, you'll, you'll notice that you can't really, it doesn't have any snapping. So how do we enable snapping? Easy. We left click here on this toolbar under settings. And then we're just going to go all the way down to snap in program monitor. When we do that, we now have snapping enabled and watch as I move it. You see that red line here in the middle? It's not super obvious, but if you look closely, there's a red line. That means it's centered. If I move it to the right or to the left, you'll see here that as I move it, I'm just going to move it. This, the red line shows up. That means it's right aligned to the center. So just a heads up, that is the way to center your text very, very quickly. And there you go, guys. From nothing to having perfect text in about two minutes. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.